Welcome to another weapon guide for Counter-Strike Global Offensive. Today we've got a lot to go over as we'll be covering all of the grenades except for the Molotov because we've already detailed that in a separate video so make sure you check that one out too. The prices for the HE, Flash, and Smoke grenades are the same as they've been in older versions of CS and the newly introduced decoy grenade is priced at 200 bucks. If you have grenades on you still when you die, the first grenade in slot 4 will drop and can be picked up by other players, but the rest of your grenades will disappear. Here's a couple of general rules for nades in Global Offensive while you check out the throwing animations. You can still throw nades over walls, which helps a lot when taking and retaking bomb sites. You can't change the speed of the grenade that you're throwing, no matter if you crouch backwards when you release it, if you're jumping forwards when you throw it, it doesn't matter. They're always going to go the same distance depending on how high or low your throw is. You can only keep one flash on you at all times, so you can't have two anymore. Still though, you could be carrying up to five total grenades, having one of each, so that's a lot. And lastly, clicking mouse one quickly will deploy your grenade instantly, much like how it is in Source. Let's take a quick look at the flashes. Flash bangs and go are very similar to how they are in Source. When you get flashed, there's a saved image of the last frame you saw before becoming blind that gets blended together with what you're currently seeing, and that's paired up with the ringing sound. I've gotta say too, turning away from flashes is extremely important and makes the severity of the flash much, much less. Smoke grenades in this game are fantastic. You only really need one to do the job because they're so thick. However, you can misthrow your smoke just a little bit and it can be a big problem as seen here right at the long crossing. So proper placement of smokes in Go means that you can smoke out key points and maps with just one smoke. Source players will feel right at home with these. They instantly bloom and they're very thick. But what you see is what you get. The smoke doesn't expand over time. It just becomes thinner. Also, when you target a player and go, you can see the player's name centered on your screen, and if you're using the new crosshair, the crosshair turns red. But if you're trying to target a player that's in a smoke, these things won't happen. Your opponent will remain hidden. And something that's true for flashes, smokes, and decoys is that physically hitting your opponent with one will actually do a small amount of damage, while HE grenades and molotovs just bounce off of players just like how they bounce off of walls. HE grenades will prove to be huge on pistol rounds as we'll see here in a second. Here, throwing an HE at my opponent's feet did about 20 damage to his health and about 80 damage to his armor, so HEs really take a toll on your armor. When my opponent didn't have armor, only one HE killed him. Now this is really big because on a pistol round in competitive mode, you can't buy armor. So one directly placed HE could take out a bunch of players. The HE has a different wall hit sound than the flash, smoke, and decoy have. So even if you can't see what's being thrown at you if it's been banked, you can at least determine if you're going to be getting hit with an HE or something that doesn't cause damage. A big difference from 1.62 is that these grenades don't do damage through walls, so just nading double doors in middle isn't enough since people can just hide behind the door and take no damage. And as far as when does the HE explode, it's still a timed grenade just as it's always been. It doesn't need to make contact to explode like the Molotov does. The decoy grenades are really cool, I've gotta say. They're the most recent addition to CS Global Offensive alongside the Molotov. As you can see in the top left of your screen, decoy grenades appear on your minimap just like players do. Once the decoy grenade is done, it makes a little explosion and the player marker on the minimap turns into a question mark. The decoy grenade will produce the sound of the most powerful gun you have, so if you only have a Glock, it will mimic the Glock. But if you have an AK, it will sound like an AK. So this is pretty awesome because these grenades won't just be making random gunshot sounds, they're actually going to relate to what guns you have in your inventory. Throwing these decoy grenades is no doubt a great way to bait out your opponents, but it's also a really good way to pretend that you're dedicating certain weapons to certain areas. So if your team AWPer throws a decoy into middle, he can then bring the AWP over to long A and surprise a counter-terrorist that doesn't know it's coming. That does it for this episode. My name is Connor Cakebuilder Gentlecore. Be sure to stay tuned to ESCANews.com.